As summer ends, it is all too easy to become depressed about the state of the world. Across so many arenas, the news seems bleak, from the COVID pandemic to warnings about climate change. Yet a sense of perspective is needed. We are not facing the apocalypse. On the contrary, life on this planet in the 21st century is safer, richer, healthier, cleaner and freer than it has ever been. Throughout the world, growing prosperity has been matched by spreading democracy. Life expectancy has soared, just as child mortality has plummeted. A key engine of this progress has been mankind's ever deeper understanding of science and technology. Our wondrous capacity for innovation has helped to conquer disease, generate wealth, pioneer new forms of energy, improve living standards and expand infrastructures. It is largely thanks to technological advance that 90% of the world's population has access to clean water and 1.2 billion people have gained the power of electricity since the turn of the century. This week we have had a further striking example of science's ability to improve our lives for the better. As this paper reported yesterday, the NHS is about to roll out a drug called Enclisirin which could save 30,000 lives and prevent 55,000 heart attacks. Made by the pharmaceutical giant Novartis, this revolutionary injection, which will be sold as Lecvio, will be administered twice a year to around 300,000 patients. Given that heart attacks and strokes are the primary cause of premature death in Britain, it is little wonder that health chiefs have described this medical breakthrough as a game-changer. Indeed, Professor Corsic Ray of Imperial College, who presided over the global trials of Enclisirin, said that the rollout is probably the most exciting thing I have been involved with in over 20 years of research. This welcome development was accompanied by more good news on the medical front, as British firm GlaxoSmithKline announced that, in partnership with a South Korean company, it is to launch phase 3 trials of a new COVID-19 vaccine, which could transform supplies to the developing world. Britain's own arsenal against the disease is already well stocked, thanks to the foresight of the government in starting our own programme, to the swiftness of our regulator in giving early approval to the life-saving jabs, and to the brilliance of our scientists. But it is not just in vaccines that Britain has emerged as a world beater in the fight against COVID. Building on our unrivaled record in biotechnology and genomics, our researchers played a central role in unlocking vital information about the structure of the coronavirus, as well as drugs that could treat it. As the American news company Bloomberg put it recently, the UK should be celebrated as a pioneer in the fight against the pandemic. Science is equally crucial in the fight to save the planet from environmental degradation. Green zealots like those from Extinction Rebellion argue that the only route to salvation is through the abandonment of our indulgent lifestyles in favor of Puritanism, as if the looming catastrophe were a punishment for our sins of consumerist excess. Science offers an optimistic alternative. By harnessing green technology, we can protect the Earth without having to destroy capitalism or return to the Dark Ages. Already Britain is pointing the way. In 2020 no less than 43% of our electricity came from renewables like wind farms, while coal generated less than 2%. Now the greatest prize of all could be on the horizon. For decades scientists have been working on nuclear fusion as a means of providing safe, clean energy. In theory its great advantages are that there is no radioactive waste, no chance of meltdown and it takes up little space to produce vast amounts of energy. That is why it has for so long been the holy grail of green electricity. But fusion could soon be a reality, for a groundbreaking experiment conducted this month by scientists at the National Ignition Facility in California, showed that the process is feasible. Within 30 years, fusion reactors could be a crucial part of our fabric, with entire cities powered by devices no bigger than shipping containers. So there is no need to overdo the gloom. Science can be our saviour, and Britain's tradition of achievement in this field, epitomised by figures like Sir Isaac Newton and Alan Turing, puts us right at the forefront of global leadership.